Hi, have you ever wanted to create some social media content for your own brand but you didn't know where to start from? In this video, I'll explain how I created these posters and logo for this brand that I just made up out of nowhere just to show you how to do that. Keep watching so you can see the process and you'll see how quickly we will finish these posters and logo. channel if you haven't seen my face before hi my name is Mona Abu Fayyad and this is tips with Mona welcome to the channel don't forget to subscribe like hit the notifications bell on and share my video so we can grow together in this folder I have prepared some products from the brand that I'm gonna be creating today so I have prepared few images that has the same color scheme and I have prepared a PDF binder just to brainstorm my ideas so this is the PDF that I have prepared first thing uh, I have chosen a name for my brand which is bright threads you can place your own brand here I've prepared few sentences that I'd like to promote my products with, which is sale 50% and the joy of dressing is fun because I decided that I want some uh, clothing brand. And I have prepared this icon that I will create my logo from. So I'll play around it and I'll try to get a logo out of this small icon. And then I have chosen few images out of uh, the web for my product. It's uh, pretend that we're gonna promote for this yellow dress. So now that we have brainstormed our ideas, we can jump to Photoshop. For that, I'm gonna open Photoshop. I'm gonna create a new and I'm gonna just create a normal A3 poster and then I'm gonna show you how we can do more to that. Okay, so first I'm gonna just go to print and then select A3. Let's make it 150, it's enough. You can leave it 300, but I don't wanna make it too heavy for my laptop. Okay, so first this is the poster where I'm gonna start doing my own poster for promoting. But I will create now a new tab in Photoshop, which is, let's uh, just make it 420 by 420. I want to make a square and er, the resolution is 150. And you'll see why I'm creating a square sheet right now. This sheet will be uh, the working space for my own logo. Let me just drag the icon and put it here. Let me turn it off for now and let's write our brand name, which is Bright Threads. There's something wrong with my font. I'll go here to my character and I'll make it auto. I went to set the leading and then I selected auto. Okay, now let's choose another uh, font that will... Um, match my logo i'm leaning towards this this uh, font you can choose whatever font you like i'll do the logo really quick let me play around with the font and come back to you So now, as you can see, I brought our icon, I placed it here, and I wrote my brand name, Pride Threads, and then I tried to find a connection between my icon and the word itself. Then I, I took the needle as T letter, and now we have the needle as the T. And then after I finished, I found out that if I increase the thread, it will uh, be catchy to the eye and it will be more noticeable and no one will forget my logo. Okay, so now I brought this color palette, but I'll not use it now. I'll keep it here. And also I merged my logo and text of the logo with my Control E. Okay, so now into the poster. 
Okay, so first thing I want to do is I want to go to my folder and check the images that I want to use for this project. So first thing that I wanted to use is this statement image. Put it here. I'd like to keep this image as my focal point for my project. I'll make it fit my poster. And then I'll click OK. And then... I want to remove the background and I clean the sky behind this model. For that, I'm gonna duplicate my layer, switch off the original one. For that, I'll be selecting the sky first. I'll go to select inverse and then create masking layer. Now I'd like to play around with some texture, some maybe few elements that will introduce my poster in an artistic way. So I'll go to my folder. I have prepared few images here that will play with my poster. I'll drag this one. I'll try to play around with this image. I'll reduce the opacity. Then I'll go back to my uh, original model photo and I'll go to stroke. I'll use like 15 and I'll keep the white. Maybe I'll use 30. Let's try to play with the stroke number until we like it. And then I'll go to my layer, I'll duplicate it, and I'll use the lower one to change the stroke. And I'll use 80. Then I'll go back to my background, I'll reduce the opacity and play around with it. I'll reduce it like that. And then I'll go back to my folder, I'll check what else I have in my folder that I can use. Let's see this one. I'll rasterize my layer and I'll remove this part. And now I'll go to my logo. I'll drag it here and I'll resize it and put it here, but this time, I'll drag also my palette. Maybe I'll use it, maybe not, but I'll try to. Okay, for my uh, logo, I would like to give it a stroke, maybe a white one. 20 is enough. Okay, now after placing my logo, okay, so now I'll place my text. I want it to be very bold, uh, very noticeable. I'll duplicate my layer. I'll use now another color for the text. And then I'll just move it like this. To my layer style, I'll give it uh, a little bit of stroke. I'll make it black. I'll make it really thin. Let's make it four. Okay. Now this is the text that I'll use for my advertisement. So you can place your social media connections on your poster as well. For that, I downloaded really quick these two icons that you can use i'll drag them to my poster again and i'll just resize them place them here so 
I gave my two icons color overlay and I placed them under my statement text and we will add their title, which is gonna be, let's try that. I'll give it the same color. And now we have our social connections right here. And then here I'll write our favorite phrase, which is 50% off. So this is our final product of the poster. Now you can easily create your Instagram post, your Facebook post, or even your stories. So for that, let me show you how to do it real quick. You go to new, and then you type here the story uh, dimensions, which is, which is 1080 by 1920, and then hit create. This is the story dimensions. Okay, after creating your story dimension sheet, you can go back to your poster and select all the layers by selecting the first layer. Hit shift and select the last layer. Make sure that you don't have any locked layers. And then drag them to your new sheet. And then keep selecting all the layers and then hit Ctrl T for transform. And then just scale it down. Sometimes you will need to adjust it. Sometimes you don't need. We will need a little bit of adjustment. We can fix that really quick. But first, let's just put it as it is. And then we can continue fixing. Okay, so now this is our layers as they were in the previous and old file. Now we will try to fix it. Just select the items and start adjusting them according to the new working space that you have now. And now we have a story post, as simple as it is. Now let me show you how to create a square post which is perfect for Instagram post. Let's make it 1080 by 1080 pixels and hit the create. Take your layers and drag them, put them here. You will need to adjust a few things, but it's okay. Okay, for example, in this situation, first thing you want to do is that you want to adjust it as you can. Go to your original layer, Ctrl T, increase the size. It's as easy as this. Just scale it and then take these elements that we've placed to create some movement. Just scale them up if you like and then move your logo to the side. Now, this is my Instagram square post. It's so easy. So now, let me show you. We have this one as Instagram square post and this one as Instagram, Snapchat or even Facebook story. You can use it. And we have this one as our poster that we can print, that we can give it to people, that we can present in our shop. It's so easy. Now, let me show you some mockups that I have prepared for this brand. And let me show you how it will look.
you like my video, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell on so you can know whenever I upload any new video. Thanks so much for watching and see you in the next one.